All right, YouTube, thanks for clicking onto the video. I have yet another instructional video lined up for you today revolving around the Ford N Series tractor. I have a 1948 Ford 8N here, and today's project we are going to be replacing the front axle pin or king pin in the front axle to eliminate some of the slop. Also, be replacing the uh, bushing that's in the axle as well. Now, if you have a 9N or an early 2N, your pin's going to look a little different, uh, but basically it's the same thing, so you're still going to want to stay tuned uh, for that. Um, you do have to remove the hood, the radiator. I'm not going to spend a ton of time uh, in giving you instruction on that, but I am kind of get give you a little bit of a um, video lesson on it anyhow. So let's waste no time. Let's jump right in. All right, now that we can actually see a little bit, let's uh, start explaining some things. So I have the floor jack up here just to relieve some of the tension off of the front axle. The reason why I do that is I like to grab the wheel, yank it all around just to see if there's any slop in the front or the top part of this bolster. There's also a bearing down here. Uh, you'll be able to notice right away once you take the weight off of it. This particular tractor does has zero, and I mean zero, play. Uh, Kind of baffled by that. Pretty crazy. But uh, anyway, here is the front part of the pin that we're going to be replacing. Here is the axle right here where uh, the bushing is inside of it. The pin goes through your radiator support here, through the axle, and then to the back part of the radiator support. As I mentioned uh, at the beginning of the video, you guys are with nine ends or the early two ends. Your bracket looks a little different. Your pin doesn't have this like teardrop to it. It's just a pin, but uh, basically the same procedure here uh, to get this off. So anyway, I just wanted to explain a couple things here. One of a couple reasons why you want to keep this in good health and not let this get worn too bad. One, if the bushing gets so worn, you actually start to wear through your axle, which then it will become junk. Uh, two, if your front end would actually come up, raise on the right hand side, up too far, I've never had this happen, but I've heard people, it'll actually bump the bottom of your distributor cap up here, and it will bump it enough to where it breaks the rotor on the inside, and your tractor will stop. Also, this radius arm here is to give the front axle support. If that, has, that pin has a lot of slop, then a lot of the strain is going to go right into there and I don't know if you could see that or not but the pin is actually wiggling inside of there and then also on the side here the other end of the radius arm I call it like a socket um, those will wear out so basically you always want to try to keep the wear right here to a minimal or if it it will just be like a chain reaction and you'll have a lot of slop everywhere
just going to lower the tractor so the front axle will be more exposed. Now we have to go and get this bushing out. Sometimes they fall right out. This one is a little bit stubborn, so I'm going to try to get a hacksaw blade in there and just kind of cut a uh, slot in there so I can then just kind of pry it out. Uh, I had a sawzall. That would work perfect, but it broke, so I'm going to have to get a little bit primitive. Also, when you go to uh, drop the tractor, make sure that you do not hit that distributor cap. I came really, really close. I wasn't paying attention. I actually just grabbed the axle then and slid it over to the left a little bit uh, to give you more clearance there. But uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and get that out. And there you have a highly edited way of getting the pin and the bushing out. Uh, these things are known to be extremely hard to get out. This was, uh, I'd say, not terrible, but uh, it wasn't good. Um, the bushing, a lot of times, they'll just fall right out. Uh, this one was in there pretty galled. Uh, the air hammer really saved the day as far as getting the pin out. That was about the only thing that started to make it move and then I was hitting it with the hammer. Best thing to do is just keep on working it back and forth, back and forth. And uh, that's that. I went ahead and uh, polished this up real good with uh, some sandpaper on the Dremel. Get that nice and shiny. Try to get it uh, smooth so the new bushing should be able to hopefully tap in there with no problem. And as you saw, I had to get a little bit aggressive. I could not just uh, simply beat the bushing in, so I had to wheel the front end off to the side and heat it up real good. I didn't want to heat it up right there because of the distributor. It'd be melting, so uh, that's what I had to do. So I'm going to let this cool and we'll proceed. Alright, everything has been cooled down here and I got the front axle back in place. Um, I just failed to mention a lot of times these will pop in pretty easy even just by hand and the reason is sometimes they get so worn that the axle itself will actually get uh, wear and like that's like in between the bushing and the axle so uh, this one really isn't that bad it wasn't too uh, badly worn so it gave me a little bit more of a struggle uh, the last one I did on a two end I just popped it in by hand but uh, anyway here's the new pin these are dry pins and that what that means is there's no grease fitting on these so you can't grease them and the whole theory behind that is grease and you know oil things like that they do attract dirt dirt is an abrasive uh, this is a very enclosed area when the tractors together there's a lot of dust flying and everything so their theory was to keep it dry um, 
I, I put an oil can to it every now and then because they do squeak and kind of drives me nuts but uh, either that or even some liquid wrench or WD-40 or something like that uh, helps out too but uh, for the most part they do last uh, a long time even if you don't grease them so anyhow let's get back to it there is a spacer that goes in between here and this is all brand new I slide it now that the tolerances are nice and tight uh, you do kind of have to wiggle this axle around a little bit and and tap on the pin to get it in uh, I also have brand new uh, washers here or spacers that go uh, in between the axle and the uh, radiator housing here uh, your tractor might have one two or th I, this one had three so I just got three brand new ones um, there is no set number so I'm going to go ahead I just put some oil on there for now First washer, tap it a little bit more. Second, Well, that was a major ordeal. <laughs> I didn't get all of it on camera because I just didn't want to waste a lot of time editing, but uh, it's out. It was galled in there. I had to cut. I got the bigger torches out, heated up the axle, you name it, but finally got it out. One of those 10 minute jobs that turns into a five hour ordeal. So the new pins have been installed on both sides of the radius arms, new uh, pin and bushings. This job is done. I'm going to save you from watching me put the radiator and hood back on. So uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like these types of videos.